Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. So this is a Whirlpool dishwasher here and uh, it's not cleaning very well. And uh, one thing to check here is inside the sump pump here. Now in order to take this apart, uh, what you gotta do is take a flat blade screwdriver or a knife and pick up on the right side here. And you don't wanna do it on the left side as there's a little tab that gets inserted uh, underneath right there where I'm attempting to do it, which I figured out after. Anyway, on the right side, this is where you want to pick it up. And once you can kind of get under there, you can, you know, get under there with your fingers and then pull it up. It just has these tabs that press into the sump. And it's pulling straight up will get the job done. A lot of other dishwashers have screws you want to remove first. There it is. Okay, and you see on the left side it's got a little tab that inserts. It'll be a little clearer when I put it back together. <laughs> um, you want to be careful if you stick your fingers in here as if there's broken glass or something down there. It can cut you pretty easily. So, you know, if you do feel in there very gently, you know, use all this information at your own risk. What works really good is a wet dry vacuum at that point to vacuum out any gunk that's in so there. So on this one I just cleaned up all the stuff that was on the plate. There was a lots of nasty stuff and then here it is putting it back in now you want to make sure that you put in the left side first As you can see here I didn't do that I put the right side in first and yet had to start all over so I figured I'd pass on the information here so uh, you guys wouldn't have to start all over uh, like I did so I pulled it back up inserting the left tab first and then pushing it down into place it's very very simple there and there it is that is removing and replacing the Whirlpool dishwasher sump cover. Beyond that, you'll want to check the air gap. An air gap cleaning tool works really good for this. You pull the little cap off. Sometimes there will be a chicken bone or something like that. And there, here's the air gap cleaning tool. I will show this in a few other videos, but I thought I'd show you this here as well. It goes down the drain line and then comes out where the disposal is. And another key part here is when installing a garbage disposal, there's a knockout. And in that knockout, you want to take a flat blade knife and kind of clean up around the edges uh, so that it doesn't create a place that food particles can build up. Again, I show this a lot more in my garbage disposal install videos, as well as uh, if you had your a dishwasher leaking water up on the sink in that video. I show it there as well, uh, but I just thought I'd explain it a bit here. Beyond that, you may want to consider adding some white vinegar uh, and running an empty load so they can clean out uh, buildups, or uh, dishwasher magic also works pretty good for uh, cleaning up any buildups in there and keep everything running good. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now.